Dealing with the depreciation and what we'll do is uh, we start off with uh, dealing with the one that we get rid of and then we'll work out if we make a profit or loss on it and then we'll look at our depreciation expense. So I go to my trial balance and let's take the numbers down that we have. So our delivery vans originally cost 250 And then I'll be getting rid of uh, a new, uh, so I get rid of one and buying a new one. Accumulate depreciation on delivery vans. So this is the all the depreciation written off on all the vans up to now. So it's 250, take away the 186, so that would be 64,000. I'll take away the depreciation on one I sell, and then I'll add on the depreciation on the one that I, uh, that is my depreciation expense for this year. Uh, the depreciation expense. Uh, I'll be depreciating the, the new ones uh, that I bought, the, uh, which will be a partial for a year. The one I sell, which will again be a partial for a year. And then the ones I have at the beginning that I still have at the end. Now, but I want to deal with my disposal first, because I want to work out did I make a profit or loss. So, uh, 31st of 3rd, delivery van costing 48 grand. So the, the original vehicle cost 48 grand, okay? So I'll be taking that away from my delivery vans. So minus 48. And what's the new one cost? So delivery van gets a new one costing 64. So 64. Uh, so that means that my fixed assets for delivery vans is going to be 250 uh, minus 48 plus 64. Uh, no, there's an extra zero. Oh, yeah, I missed a zero there. Uh, no. There's definitely a problem on my maths. Yeah, 250,000. Yeah. yeah, so 266. So I'm going to put that straight into my balance sheet. Okay. okay. So that one that I got rid of. Um, I'm trying to work out my depreciation expense. Sorry, the depreciation expense on the one that I disposed of. So that's the depreciation expense for the year. So depreciation on the disposal. So thing costs 48. I multiply that by 20% uh, because that's the depreciation for the year. Multiply by how many years I had it. So uh, I got in 2016 and I had it for two months, so the, the 11th and the 12th month. Then I had it for all of 17, all of 18, and three months of 19. So that's going to be two years and five months. So when I do the maths on that, that's going to be 480 times 0.2 times now two years and five months, two years is 24 months, and five is 29 months, 29 over 12. So that's 23,200. So, um, so my disposal minus 23,400, sorry, 200, uh, means that the thing that I got rid of, uh, the, it had a net book value of 24,800. So 24,800 book value. Now, um, what did I get for it when I actually sold it? So I got an allowance of 26. So I got an allowance of 26,000, which means I sold it for uh, I sold it for 1,200 more than it was actually worth at the time. So that's a 1,200 profit. So I'll put up here in our gains. I'll have profit. On disposal uh, was going to be uh, 1200 now uh, I need to go and put in my accumulated depreciation in here now so the accumulated depreciation of the vans I'm going to be taking away from that the uh, 23200 on the one that I disposed of now I need to work out my depreciation expense for the year so the new one I, uh, 64,000 is what it's worth uh, times 20% times 
Uh, well, I got it on the 33rd, so therefore that'd be nine months. 54, 9.2 times 9 twelfths, nine months. Uh, the one I sold originally cost 48. Uh, again, multiply by 20% depreciation, and I had it for three months of the year. And then the continuing one. So these are the ones I had at the beginning that I still have at the end. Well, I have 250 at the beginning. I got rid of 48 of the 250. So that means 202 is the continuing one. Uh, and I multiply that by 20%. And I would have had it for a full year. So 202 times 0.2. So I'll add all these together. And that gives me my annual depreciation expense. So that figure, 52,400, I'm going to add that to the accumulated depreciation up here. 52,400. <coughs> so 64 minus uh, 23,200 and then plus 52,400. So that's my depreciation expense. So uh, accumulated depreciation. So the, the total figure here I have is accumulated depreciation. Um, the, uh, the depreciation expense, so that would be a distribution expense. So that's that number there. And I put in my profit. That's that dealt with. Now, uh, one standard thing that they'll always put in here uh, the amount we paid was treated as a purchase of trading stock, so that means I have to change my purchases. Now, purchases up above, okay, I have is, uh, from a previous note, I have is 109,9600. Let me just quickly check. 108,000, yeah. There's an extra zero actually in that. Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay. So there was a mistake with the purchases that I did in the previous um, video. Uh, so you see the correct figure there now. So that's 127. Now, included in that was um, uh, when I, I gave a check uh, to buy this new vehicle. Some of the 64 was a check and some of it was a trade in. But the check was treated as if I bought goods. So I need to take that out of purchases. So if the thing costs 64, and I got an allowance of 26. That means take those two away, you got 38,000. So that means I'm going to have to take 38,000 um, away from that check. Sorry, let me just fix that now a second. So the purchase figure is that one. So I'm going to take away from that 38,000. So that gives me a new figure. So 89,600, that's the figure then that's going to go in for purchases. So let's just quickly put that in. Okay, 